Today I'm going to show you how to track a package on AliExpress. First we're going to log in, do the normal thing here. It's going to be blurring out some of this information for security purposes, of course, but you know the drill. Okay, so we're going to go up here, we're going to go to My Orders, and then we'll give you sort of a easy case first. First thing to notice is right here, Tracking information is available within 5 to 10 days. That's after 5 to 10 days after it ships the package. Uh, while it is in China, and this depends on your order, you can track via the China Post airmail website. So it takes maybe a week sometimes, or more, or less, to get out of China. During that time, you use the China Post tracking system. Later, I'll show you some alternative to China Post's default tracking website. First thing, we'll translate with Google. Helps us out a little bit. This is our tracking number, where our tracking number goes, and this is to prove that we are not a robot. Uh, we want to go back here, copy the tracking number, place it there, and Here we go. It says, for this number, current condition, United States Post Office tried to vote. Doesn't make a lot of sense. If you reach this roadblock before, do not worry. There is a better way to track China Post shipments coming from AliExpress instead of the uh, default site that Aliexpress gives you. Go to this website right here. I'll include a link to that at the bottom of the video. And here we have a much more complete and readable version of your shipping history. Now, in another video I discussed the various forms of shipping that AliExpress sellers use. The one we just discussed was China Post. Another common one is ePacket, which I actually prefer. Uh, this one is, this order here is being shipped, ePacket. As you can see right here, that has a different interface. And it is once again in Chinese. Now, you can translate it, but really what you're looking for is just this box here. Click on that, and then, as before, we take the tracking number. Paste. And we can see where our package is. Now, once your package has arrived in the United States, and even a little bit before that, the international carrier hands the package off and the tracking information off to the domestic carrier, which, if you are in the United States, is going to be the USPS. So what we can do is click on the destination post website here. Then once again, we enter our tracking number. And USPS works pretty good. You see we have our full list of destinations here. Well, that's the end. If that was helpful at all to you, please like or subscribe. Thank you so much.